Today on The Family Fudge, I'm sharing five kid-approved freezer meals that are also budget-friendly and on the healthier side. Now, if you are like me and received a new Instant Pot for Christmas, then I've got you covered. These recipes are perfect whether you've been using an Instant Pot for a while or if you're a beginner. These recipes can be cooked right away or they can be made into freezer meals and cooked later. And if you don't have an Instant Pot, no worries. All of these recipes can also be made in your slow cooker. Now, before I jump into these tasty recipes, I am super excited to be teaming up with my friend Kristen over the channel Six Sister Stuff on today's video. And you guys, I have been following the Six Sisters for years. Of course, I love their Instant Pot and their freezer meal recipes, but I also really appreciate that all of their recipes are easy to make with simple ingredients, which is perfect for moms like me. Kristen will also be sharing five healthy Instant Pot freezer meals over on her channel, so definitely go check out her video when you're done here. I'll link her video down below, so when you head over there, make sure to tell her that the Family Fudge sent you. To keep these meals on budget, I'm using either chicken or turkey, and this time around, I'm trying something new. Usually, when I make freezer meals, I use gallon Ziploc bags, which are great if you're trying to make a ton of freezer meals, or if you don't have a lot of freezer space, because you can freeze them flat. But today, I'm using these 12 cup Betty Crocker food storage containers instead. Now I found these at the Dollar Tree so they were budget friendly and they are definitely more reusable than a plastic baggie. But I do have to say they take up a lot more space in your freezer so I'm honestly not sure which method I like the best yet. If you make these freezer meals just use whatever container works best for you. Either way these meals can last about three months in your freezer. First up, I'm making some cilantro, lime, chicken, and lentils. For this recipe, I'm using one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Next, I'm gonna be adding two cups of dried lentils. Next, I'm gonna be adding two bottles of this mild salsa verde. This is going to add so much good flavor to this dish. And of course, if you like spicy, you can definitely use the spicy stuff. Now, if I was adding this directly to my Instant Pot and cooking it right away, I would also add in three cups of chicken broth. But since this is a freezer meal, I'm not gonna add that until I'm ready to cook it. Next, I'm gonna be adding in one whole onion that I chopped up, followed by half a cup of cilantro, which I also chopped up. And then I'm also adding in some garlic powder. Now at this point, I'm going to be adding in just a little bit of fresh jalapeno. Next comes the lime juice. I'm actually using the juice of one whole lime in here. This is really gonna give this a nice fresh flavor. And then last but not least, I'm also adding in a half a teaspoon of salt. I know you guys, no matter what kind of container you're using, it's always a good idea to label your freezer meal with what it is and how long to cook it. And any other cooking directions you might want to add to. Now since I'm using these reusable containers, I'm just writing my directions on a piece of painter's tape so I can easily remove it the next time I use this container. Now you guys, with all of these freezer meals, when you want to cook it, you're going to go ahead and remove it from your freezer and then I like to add my container to a bowl with some warm water and that just makes the food a lot easier to get out of the container and put into the Instant Pot. Before I cook this, I do wanna go ahead and add in three cups of chicken broth. Then I can cook this on high pressure for 25 minutes plus a 10 minute natural release. Now, if you're using a slow cooker, you're gonna to wanna to cook this on low for about six hours or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. We love to serve this over some rice and extra lime wedges on the side. Next up, I'm making pineapple chicken tacos. Well, I'm making the filling for the tacos. For this recipe, I'm going to start with about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I did go ahead and cut it up just a little bit. And next comes the sweet part. I'm going to be adding about two cups of pineapple. You can use fresh or canned, but I got a really good price on this pineapple. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up myself using my handy dandy pineapple slicer. And I'm going to kind of leave these on the chunky side. Next, I'm going to add in just a little bit of chopped jalapeno. Again, I'm not using very much at all and I did remove the seeds. 
Next, I'm going to chop up one whole purple or red onion. I'm going to get that into my container. And now comes the spices. First, I'm adding in plenty of garlic powder, about two teaspoons, followed by one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of salt, and then finally one cup of water. In your Instant Pot, you're gonna cook this on high pressure for 20 minutes, plus a quick release, or in your slow cooker on low for six hours. Then you can add this meat into tacos, burritos, or make yourself a rice bowl. Next up is one of my personal favorites, which is chicken enchilada soup. For this recipe, I'm using three chicken breasts, one cup of corn, you can use canned or frozen, I'm using one whole onion diced, about two teaspoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of oregano, a tablespoon of sugar, just to balance it all out, one small can of diced green chilies, these are mild, and then finally one 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. Once you have all of your ingredients measured out, all you have to do is dump everything into your container or your Ziploc bag. Now, if I was gonna cook this right away, I would also be adding in three cups of chicken broth, but since this is a freezer meal, I'm not gonna add that in until I'm actually ready to cook this. In my Instant Pot, I'll cook this on high pressure for 25 minutes. Now, if you're using a slow cooker, you're gonna wanna cook this on low for about six hours or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. And of course, you're gonna wanna serve this with all of your favorite toppings. I really like cilantro, avocado, sour cream, and cheese on mine. Next up, I'm making another classic that all of my kids enjoy, and that is chicken noodle soup. And you guys, this is a perfect recipe to add in whatever vegetables you have on hand. For this freezer meal, I'm going to start with about one pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, I really like the thighs in this recipe because it gives it a richer flavor, but of course, you can use chicken breast as well. Next, it is time to get chopping. I'm going to dice up one whole small onion, followed by about six carrots. To this, I'm also adding plenty of celery. And with all of my veggies, I'm chopping them pretty large. So now that I have all of these items in my container, I'm going to add in plenty of seasonings. First, I'm adding half a teaspoon of thyme, followed by half a teaspoon of celery seed, half a teaspoon of turmeric. Next, I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. And to thicken this up a little bit, I'm also adding one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, if I was cooking this right away, I would add about four cups of chicken stock, and I would serve this with plenty of egg noodles. In my Instant Pot, I'll cook this on high pressure for 25 minutes. Now, if you're using a slow cooker, you're gonna wanna cook this on low for about six hours, or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Next up, I'm making black bean turkey chili. For this, I'm starting with one pound of ground turkey. Now I got this right out of my freezer and I'm going to keep it frozen. Next, I'm adding two cans of tomato sauce. and get all that in there. Followed by one can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. You want all of that in here. Next, I'm going to add in the black beans. Now I already rinsed and drained these. And after that, I'm going to add one can of corn. Now to season this up, I'm also adding two teaspoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, and just a pinch of red pepper flakes. Now guys, this container is pretty full, but that is totally fine because that's all I'm adding in here for now. Of course, when I get this into my slow cooker or my instant pot, I will add about one to two cups of chicken broth depending on how thick I want my chili. Okay guys, I hope this gives you some good instant pot freezer meal inspiration. I will have links to all of these recipes in the description box below for you guys. And you guys, don't forget to go check out what Kristen's cooking up over on the Six Sisters channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.